All right, guys. So I want to show you this real quick here. Um, we did about 35 to 40 percent water change, and I wanted to demonstrate um, some of the inaccuracies with uh, with these hydrometers. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, in in my research that I've done, the instant ocean does tend to be fairly accurate. Um, we've tested against the re the refractometer we have here, and it is almost spot on. Um, it's hard to say this one is older. It's been I've been using it for about a year, but I do know that eventually uh, these wear out. But I don't think it should wear out in a year. Um, this one is off now. If the key to these is consistency, so when I did use this one, I had it at about 0.24, which really means it was like probably 1.022. But um, that's a pretty big window of specific gravity, uh, so. I do think that this uh, would be a little bit better of an investment as if you're a reef noob like myself. You don't really want to shell out a refractometer, or for me, it's just a matter of convenience. I just don't. I really don't like, you know, dealing with it, putting my light on, it, my eye up to it. I have glasses. It's just a pain in the ass. I just had a hard time reading them, and I just would either prefer maybe a more expensive, you know, uh, digital uh, salinity checker. You know, as time goes by, maybe I'll invest in one of those. But for now. These will work fine. Uh, the key is consistency. So definitely try and keep your tank consistent. And maybe if you have a friend that has a refractometer, uh, maybe he can um, give you that window. So if you're off by a little bit, the refractometer is going to be the most accurate uh, for the most part. Um, so you could cross-reference what your readings are with him and adjust accordingly. Maybe mark uh, you know, with a Sharpie the difference that you would need to go to or if you uh, get lucky and you find one that works and it's you know within the margin of error almost spot on which um, you look at the reviews and most of the insta ocean hydrometers are as accurate as you can get with this style of salinity checker um, and, you know and, and I tell you what uh, I hate water changes this is the first one I think I've done since we set this tank up um, I'll have to look at the videos when we first set this up, but I think this is the first water change I've done I, in, uh, on this tank since it was set up, and I think it was set up about two months, three months ago, maybe longer. So, um, But, you know, I do have the proprietary filter sock in there, and I have um, some fluval ammonia reducer and activated carbon. Just nothing fancy. I mean, anything helps. I mean, look, you can get the best of the best. You get like Chemi Pure, and I, I know guys swear by it. I'm sure it works, but the reality is these is I got both of these for 10 bucks, and came with three packages. I only got to change them out once a month, so um, they seem to work great. Uh, I did notice a drop in ammonia. Um, as soon as I put both of them in, it's probably more due to the not so much the carbon, but probably the ammonia remover. Um, but the carbon definitely has its own uh, advantages. Now, I did have the filter sock down here, and I might reintroduce it, but I didn't like the flow in my refugium. Um, with the filter sock getting clogged, it was too big, so maybe I'll replace that with a larger filter sock uh, down the road. But for now, this works. Just a little refugium, and you know, a, a neat way you can clean out your sump without having to take it apart. You can kind of see I actually cleared some of it out, but I had some detritus. You can just take a little turkey baster. This is a trick I learned uh, when I was keeping dart frogs and tadpoles and cleaning out their little containers. And look at it, it just sucks all that up. You know, and if you have a focus of detritus in a certain area, uh, you know, that'll work. It'll work, it'll work pretty well. Um, but yeah, I do have amphipods that are growing in there again. Um, i trying to see if I can find one in there. This it might be too high a flow. I just put the flow up and uh, they didn't like that, so I'm not sure if I, I might have to turn that flow down. But I do have amphipods in there. They all died off, in, and I went over that in a previous video because uh, I didn't fill it up enough over like a three-day weekend in, in the... <laughs> Two reef octopus titanium heaters I have in there uh, basically boiled the uh, refugium and killed, killed all of them. 
Uh, so I just reseeded them not that long ago. But uh, they seem like they're making a comeback. Uh, maybe I'll sh show you in a different video. But yeah, everything's doing pretty well. Um, it's towards the end of the night and I've done a water change, so uh, definitely some of the corals are not out. Some of the fish are hiding, but for the most part everyone's happy and it was kind of funny. I didn't even have the uh, the half cup scooper that it says you should, you know, half cup per, I think it was like per gallon, and I just kind of winged it, tested it, winged it, tested it, and it, it came out all right. So, I mean, if you're in a pinch, don't be afraid to... Uh, you know, put a little bit in, test it, let it sit for a little bit, put a little bit more in, test it. Yeah, it's not ideal, but it'll work. You know, you don't have to be perfect with this. You know, some people have success with what they have. So I, I think there's a lot to say about that. Just working with what you have within the budget you have um, with the time you have. And, and it's it's possible. It's possible. I mean, I don't have a ton of time with this. This is my work tank. I have to be working uh, a lot more than paying attention to the tank. So a little bit of attention does go a long way. A little bit of testing, even if it's basic, like, uh, you know, and, and look, I don't have perfect parameters, but they're functional. I'm, I'm working on it. I just started dosing, but I did a water change today, and um, look, the nitrates were pretty high. The ammonia actually tested out point, um, I think it was like 0.025 today, so I decided to go ahead and do the change, 30%, 40, I think it was like 30 or 40% water volume, and you know, we don't always have the time to get the things right away, but as long as you are aware of it and you're not putting it off uh, to the point where it's killing your fish, you know, just, just keeping up with things and, and having a routine is going to help you out, it's going to help you succeed. Um, and I'm brand new at this, so I mean, I, I by no means am saying that I am super successful, but it, it seems like everything is going very well. And um, things are starting to grow and spread out, and the fish are doing great, and um, all the parameters are coming uh, in check. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, the turnout of this tank to this point. Well, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you like what, what I do, and share with your friends. Um, peace out.